how do you spot a lie when a man is lying, and then and then how do you build an honest、um, relationship? Ah,、uh, so I'm actually going to have help on this topic today. <laughs> As it turned out, I am with my friend Keith Pal. Howdy, Paulino. Paulino, yeah, Paulino, and he is actually a. He actually brought orgasmic meditation to Austin, Texas, and、True. he built a huge community here. And so, I'm also a bit of a relationship expert, like you. Well, I, I, I was going to get to that,、okay. honey. Just hang on. Right, yeah, sorry, I'll, I'll make you look good. I promise. Okay, I don't、uh, know how these things work with you. <laughs> It's our first time together. <laughs> It's going to be okay. Be gentle. Just me. <laughs> Okay, so so Keith is a relationship <laughs> expert, and and、I'll, you're gonna. I'm gonna turn the camera on him in a second,、okay. but you know I gotta like pump him up. You know, like with all men, you gotta、oh. fluff up <laughs> before. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> <laughs> Dating tips all over the place here. Okay, so、um, so Keith is an amazing. When you, I just asked him that too, I said, "So what do, what do you think about men and lying, and how do we spot that lie?" And all these amazing wisdoms already come out of his mouth. So I'm actually gonna let Keith, you know. Um, expound <laughs> as much as he wants, and and if it gets if he gets o- over the top, I'm gonna like like translate it down for us. Okay,、mm, so okay. so here we go. So first, let's start with so、uh, how do you why do men lie first of all?、Uh, the I think the two main reasons are、um, they lie because they want to disconnect because they don't want to face their feelings, and then the big one is they lie to get out of punishment. They have an idea that they're gonna be punished for something, and so they they lie about it. So basically, to translate that down, because you know he's like a, a notch way up here, <laughs> is that is that men lie because they're afraid, because、mm. that they might get in trouble,、right. and getting in trouble with women, they have been trained all their life that if they're in trouble with their mother, their sister, their teachers, they're in big trouble.、That's、so、right. men will avoid that at all costs, especially if we start. If there's a chance that we would be crying、right. or unhappy, men or, lie because they don't want to make us happy,、uh, unhappy, right? And they don't want you to take your love away, basically. So don't don't withdraw your love from me. So I'm gonna do whatever I can to manipulate you into not withdrawing your love from me, and that can include lying. Because if you withdraw your love, that means you withdraw your boobs, and men love、oh, boobs, and that's, that's just that's how it is. Oh, that's very true. <laughs>、okay. I'm an avid boob fan.、It's、See,、true. there you go. Okay, so you were saying another,、um, like what? What are some some sign that 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 he's lying? Oh,、uh, let's see. Deflecting. Right, he was deflecting,、um, defensive,、uh, being defensive, and like trying to like put the conversation back on you.、Um, blaming is another good indicator. Like,、um, you know, this must be you must have figured done something. You know, that kind of thing. Right, and what else? Oh, I said, and and if he. And also, if he is bullying you into、uh, doubting yourself, yeah. If he is bullying you into doubting yourself, he's lying, and it's not you; it's him. I know most women when 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 you're encountered this, you go to doubting yourself, and you go to questioning yourself, and your your hunches and your guts, and don't do that. That's right. right. So if a man raises his voice, over to overpower you,、right. bullying you. Right. Um, and telling you that your feelings are invalid or、right. you're just full of shit, run, Forrest, run! <laughs> just get the fuck out of there. Right, because they're trained to be violent. Like we're men are trained in violence in some form or another, and that is another set of forms of violence, which is bullying, which is raising their voice, which is、um, you know raising that kind of、uh, attack energy, so that when there's that place where a woman is like, I was afraid of you in that moment. And men are like, "Why? I was never gonna hit you," but their energy was like coming really intensely forward, like they were gonna hurt you.、Um, that's another way that they are trained to be violent. That kind of like puffing.、Uh... So, what should a woman do when 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 they do that? I like what you said. Get the fuck out of there. I, mean, <laughs>、okay. I think that's you know, like just, just duh, right? Like you just 
you don't stand for it, basically. There's a way that, you know, you, we, all of us are learning how to have better boundaries. I think in this place for women, having really clear boundaries of that's not acceptable behavior. You're not allowed to talk to me that way. I'm going to leave the situation. And when you go get clear, you can go take some time, calm down, do what you need to do. When you're ready to come back and have a better mm-hmm. conversation, then let's come back. Cause I love you and I want to be connected to you, but not like this. So basically what you're saying is that we should always still be in charge of the relationship. Don't cower, don't let him bully us into being a nobody or or discounting our own feelings and and about that. That's right. But also don't go on the attack because when when he's all puffing up and you're going to try to attack, then then now you're making the situation dangerous for yourself. Exactly. You're most often you're going to lose an escalation basically. So you know, it's just not worth it for you. Okay. And you said something else that was really powerful. You said something about men date their mother. Oh yeah. Well, that's just right. That's true. Men, men date their moms. Um, so wait, does that mean women date our father? Yes, that's also true. I just, I just happen to have more experience on the other side. I have the other side. Yeah. Yeah. Together. Yes, <laughs> that's yes, a, good, good. That's it. Yeah. Okay, so, uh, yeah, so, so mandate the mother. Right. So Oh uh, look, my, my sweetheart just joined. So oh, like honey, did you know I'm like your mother? <laughs> <laughs> you know, I was thinking on my way to come get you that I really hoped that I was the other Keith in your phone. That's how you stored yes. me. But anyway <laughs> Hi Keith, uh, it's been a long time since we saw each other. How you doing? Um anyway, so yeah, dating dating our mothers, right? Which is essentially um there's this branch of psychology called ecological family systems it's really cool stuff and when you are zero to three you're surviving your relationship with your primary caregiver for most men that's their mother and you're literally surviving it you have to be in that relationship long enough to get fed and clothed and housed and loved and then what happens is we use that as our template for relating Uh, it's all different intimacy levels but the highest one is generally our mothers so when we get to that point in our relationship where the intimacy goes up really high all of a sudden we're treating our partners like we need to survive this relationship with them and all of the triggered condition responses around that relationship and that relating style happen so basically let me Mm. translate that one for you is that (laughs) basically when you were born you're a tiny little bundle and the world is scary and all these big animals are in front of you think animal instinct here Mm -hmm. okay so you look up and you're like okay these people are are scary they could kill me they could they could hurt me they could abandon me right so what so then you accidentally just smile and and they they go oh you're so cute and you get this feedback that she likes it okay we smile some more (laughs) oh it's okay so now we learn actually just happens for both men and women but we learn to to be cute we learn (coughs) to be likable we learn we learn to behave in such a way that our mother uh, men men learn to behave in such Mm -hmm. a way that their mother would um would feed him right and would give him the boobs right (laughs) so 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 then so then men mostly focus on the boobs mostly focus on the boob exactly so then men men learn to behave toward women in in their older age as an adult the same way That's right. they 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 will they will try to be cute they will um and if they don't get their way they will pout That's and right. throw a tantrum a lot of tantrum throwing a lot of uh, uh blustering and you know how could this be true kind of you know uh just basically look at any two to five year old boy and then essentially translate all of that behavior into your boyfriend and you <laughs> figured it out basically you know like <laughs> so if you I, I hear this a lot of time a woman complain that being with with her her man is like having another another child to take care of yeah. and that yeah. that is That's a it. metaphor right. and so anyway and men out there it's it's not attractive so no not there's, hot there's a lot of work to be done thank you for saying that could you just officially apologize to the woman Absolutely. Uh, For myself and and all men. Absolutely. Uh, This is, it's a, it's a terrible thing basically. And uh, I apologize for all men 
who are essentially treating you as an entitled caregiver, uh, that, that they are entitled to your care, that they are entitled to you uh, setting all of your feelings and all of your humanity aside in order to take care of their feelings and their expression in their moment. So I, I apologize for that. It should not happen. And I think May and I are, are working very hard to ensure that it stops uh, to the best of our ability. We're working towards that. And, and on behalf of all the women, I'd like to apologize for all the times that we emasculate you guys mm. and we cut you down at the knees with just our eyes. Mm. And all the times that we don't communicate what we want, mm. we don't know what we want, and then we, we blame you for not making us happy. Mm. And we let you carry all the bullshit, our bullshit baggage for us. Mm. And, and we resist your love. Uh. There Apology we go. accepted. Thank you. Apology accepted. Thank so, you. on behalf of all the men and the women in there, this is May and Keith Paolino, and we are signing off for tonight. Um, great, great topic for tonight uh, on how to spot a man's lie and and how to um, to to steer through that and really don't put yourself into places where you second guess your own feelings mm. about that, which is most important. All right, every Wednesday night around 6 p.m. Pacific, <laughs> <laughs> around, <laughs> based on my whims and everything, I will do a Facebook Live with different topics and join us here at the Bold Brave Woman Hot Life Hot Love fan page. And also, all of these are also stored on my YouTube channel, Hot Life Hot Love. So if you want to see the archive of previous uh, dating advice, please go. See, have a good night, everyone. Bye. Bye.